hey welcome back welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video which is all about a mystical crystal a mystical piece of glass that has helped people on many pathways many journeys which have been both up and down um, myself included but have resulted in very positive high vibrational outcomes so welcome to today's video and welcome to this video about Moldavite. So we're going to talk about Moldavite. Today's video um, is going to be about the fears behind Moldavite. Why so many people are scared of it? My, why so many people stay away from it? And why so many people don't want to bring it into their lives because of this underlying fear or belief that has been placed upon them or something that they just feel within um, that makes them scared to go near it. And so Moldavite, if you're unaware of what it is, is it's been quite prevalent over the last, I would say probably five to 10 years. Um, it's become very scarce. It's becoming very, very expensive. Um, genuine Moldavite is becoming very expensive. So if you find something that's cheap, it's probably gonna be a fake. Um, you're looking at thousands of pounds for a tiny little piece of Moldavite now because it is finite and there was only so much of it. Um, it came from when an asteroid hit the Earth millions of years ago um, near the Czech Republic and Germany. And what Moldavite actually is, is the creation of a glass between the heat, the water, the fire, um, the vapor that was in the atmosphere from this blast, from this collision of this asteroid on the earth. And what was formed and what has been left after this is these pieces of glass. Um, there's other pieces of this mystical, powerful glass around the world. Um, Libyan desert glass is something that's quite similar. We also have something on the planet that's called tektite, which is slightly different. Um, but again, it is another tektite. Moldavite is a tektite because it comes from um, asteroid. It comes from outer space and it has been proven to be extremely powerful um, on many people's quests and journeys to become higher vibrational to step into their own own way of being their own light their own journey of what the path that they feel drawn to and they just feel drawn to get moldavite a lot of people have had what they deem to be negative experiences with moldavite which is something we're going to touch on today a lot of people have had very positive experiences with moldavite however that's been because they've gone through a lot of what can like i said deemed to be negative what can feel like heavy unusual experiences within the physical within the mind body and spirit and that's something else we're going to touch on today so i have made a few notes so if i look down i'm just looking at my notes that i have written um so the fear of moldavite it's the thing about the fear of Moldavite, I think with a lot of people, especially anyone that's stepping onto this um, amazing journey of spiritual awareness, spirituality, discovering their inner energy, their inner voice, discovering that their connection to source, that they are, they are source and they are connected to everything. Um, and that can sometimes create a little bit of fear in itself because People are stepping away from the belief that they're here once, they live, they die, and that's it, the end of it. Where in actual fact, we, we're coming to the understanding and the knowing within our awakening journey is that there is so much more. There is so much more to this journey and we are multidimensional beings on various journeys of soul progression, soul development, um, healing through the ascension process through this awakening that everyone's going through on the planet and it can create chaos it can create disturbances it can create division within yourself as well and these things need to happen 
um, because if everything just remained the same then there would be no element of healing going on there would be no element of awakening of transition of a betterment of yourself so things do need to take place things do need to happen so the first thing i've written down here about the fear of moldavite is the unknown so that's number one what do i mean by the unknown so the unknown i've written down here i've classed it as physical and spiritual crossover and what do I mean by that as well? That's quite a, a broad statement to make. But I've just pinned it down to two statements really. Um, the first one being other people's views and stories about their connection to Moldavite. So as I mentioned earlier, some people do talk about Moldavite and having negative effects with it. Um, I'm going to touch on this a little bit more later on this video, but what is happening with these negative effects is the Moldavite is actually healing elements of you, of your energy, of your life, of your being, and it's bringing things to the surface that you need to be aware of on your healing journey. And some, a lot of people that think, oh, I'm going to get a piece of that because it's going to just change everything for me, but in actual fact, um, what it does for them is it kind of does the opposite because they're not quite ready for it yet um, they're not in that vibrational state that that vibrational way of being and they think maybe they're a little bit cocksure of themselves and that this is the the be all and end all and the answer to everything of what a lot of people have said and it isn't it isn't the be all and end all it's part of a healing journey Moldavite will come to you um, on your healing journey um, so these people that have these views and stories that you know it, it destroyed my life um, everybody left me my my whole life fell apart i became really ill um, yada 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 all these different things that people talk about it's part of this connection to the moldavite but what is actually happening is it's, it's changing things so rapidly that your energy isn't quite ready for it and like i said before it will come crystals and, and and healing will come to you when your soul is when your energy is ready for it and it's it's a very very interesting process that we have to go through and usually when we've done the healing when we've done quite a lot of inner work or shadow work or looked at pain body or looked at inner child looked at triggers looked at traumas looked at emotional release um, when we've looked at a lot of this stuff then Moldavite will probably come your way because you've shifted a lot of that stuff and you've looked at it already so there won't be this massive un unveiling and unheave upheaval of things that are going to get released very very quickly and it's like everything to do with healing it needs to be done in layers it needs to be done gradually and it needs to be done slowly and it's the same with with Reiki with Reiki attunements so I always that's why we, we often say you know to leave months sometimes years between attunements until you're ready for it until your your spirit until your body until your mental and emotional states are ready for it and you've done the inner healing the healing has taken place that needs to be taken place for your journey because if everything was ripped away and taken out and every trauma every emotion every shadow was taken away in one foul swoop that would do more damage than good that's why it needs to be a slow steady progress process sorry layer by layer step by step not just a sudden boom there you go this is why medicine tends to like to just cover things up because they don't want to unveil things that people need to expose because if you can keep people covering things up and then giving them more medication to cover more the side effects up and give them more it suppresses suppresses and suppresses and pushes so much stuff down um, that you get to the point where it becomes almost impossible to find to lift out to heal um, it will be possible but it will take a lot of work a lot of work so other people's views and stories that's the first thing that i've written down and then the second thing that I've written down is about being unsure within yourself so it's this element of fear that is within you that either someone has placed within you about something that's happened to them or it's just something that's in you saying mm, I'm not sure about that 
I had exactly the same feeling. I kept seeing when I was when Moldavite was coming to me. Sorry about the dogs barking, but when Moldavite came to me, um, it was um, it was shown to me in, in in various different ways, various different things that I'd seen on on videos, on information, things that had just come into my. Um, I suppose my my orbit I suppose um, and I just became more aware of it so um, but that element of kind of unknown was within me um, so, so I felt that as well um, but it became more and more prevalent and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna get a piece and I'm just gonna see what happens and that was the step that I needed to make for me for my journey for my awakening for delving that little bit deeper and unfolding things and bringing things into my orbit that I needed at that time. So you will get to a point when when this this feeling of uncertainty within will go, it will step away and you will feel like, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to try it. It's like, it's like with anything in life, you know, it's just like just step away from like the what ifs what coulds being present with it and just say you know what i'm just going to give it a go now what i did was i worked with it very slowly and very gently because i was already aware through the information through the videos and things that i'd already watched um, i was already aware that it was extremely powerful and would give me various things symptoms feelings it would bring things up and, and reveal things that I needed to be able to see. So I work with it slowly, maybe half an hour a day, an hour a day, build it up over time to the point that eventually I was wearing it all the time. Um, I, I have a piece, this piece with me now. I haven't worn it for a few weeks. Now the last time I did that and then I went to meditate with it something really strange happened something profound happened something I'd never experienced before and I, I basically I was just sat downstairs and I put the Moldavite on my heart chakra on my chest and I meditated and I just felt my whole body vibrate my whole body something shifted um, within me and I was but before or if that was somebody else they'd be thinking Oh, what's that? I don't like that. I'm not sure what that is. I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit fearful of that. When actual fact for me, then I was just like, whoa, what is this? This feels amazing. I just knew something was being shifted and something was being healed on some level because I hadn't worn Moldavite for so long. So, and I found a really profound effect just from taking a break away from it, just to having a week, two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month, just coming away from it, just for a while, wearing other crystals instead of instead of that, and just feeling their effects and seeing what happens, um, and then going back to it, and and knowing that what has happened and what will happen with the Moldavite is meant to happen, it's meant to be. So, second point that I've, of the main steps that I've um, put down is the heightened states on the physical, so what do I mean by that? So the heightened states on the physical, things that will happen to the physical body that again will bring an element of fear. So I talk about this vibration feeling and a lot of people will be like, oh, oh, I'm not sure what that is. What's going on there? I don't like that. Whereas I was like, bring it on. I love this. I love that this feeling. I know, I know what that feeling is. If you don't know what it is, then it is going to automatically bring a sense of fear. But having that awareness and having that knowing and that experience of, of working with it for so long makes you realize that, no, this is actually something good. This is something being shifted. Um, so what is actually happening when we're feeling these things? So it's breaking through your energy. Um, it's breaking through internal blocks. Um, but not everyone wants that not everybody wants that so these people that maybe get a piece of moldavite and think oh i'm going to get this because it's going to solve all my problems in actual fact it doesn't and it kind of breaks them down a little bit because they're not vibrationally ready for it yet um and it's because because they're not ready for that yet because they don't want to see aspects of themselves that they don't like but they're living in this in this bubble of of 
of their own awareness that that what they believe, what they think, what they trust, what they know is right. Um, but when they start to step out of that and, and they look at themselves with a different set of eyes, the inner eye, the new sense, newfound sense of awareness, they see things about themselves that they don't like. And that can sometimes switch people's perceptions of themselves and it makes them sort of dislike themselves and and mistrust themselves because what they thought was right and what they thought was true and what they thought was the way to be was actually not it was quite negative and they see themselves for who they really are and that can shift the states of consciousness and bring that element of that within the physical so you will feel that emotionally you'll feel that in the mind you'll feel that in your body you maybe feel it in your gut you'll feel that element of guilt or um, just uh, an une uneasiness about you and you'll be thinking well, I'm not sure what this is but I, but I don't like it so, so you will feel that other, effect, other effects that you will get on the physical, which I got quite a lot early on, was a raised heartbeat. So the heartbeat, when I came into contact with Moldavite, because it's so high vibrational, it will work with your energy and it will increase your heartbeat slightly, which for some people, again, is a bit like, oh, oh, oh I'm not sure about that. I don't really like that. It will also make you probably sweat. Um, because of the raised heartbeat and because of the raising of the vibration because you're stepping into a new level of consciousness something has to take place within the physical and and that again will bring an element of fear um, because the, the, they're uncertain they're unsure they don't know what it is um, and that used to happen with me a little bit I didn't really get the sweats but I used to get like a flush like a hot flush um, that happened quite a lot you will also probably experience extremely vivid dreams or nightmares. Um, both things are working with you. So the dreams and the nightmares, it's all elements of release. So the nightmares could be things within you, within your energy, um, quite dark, heavy stuff, which is being healed and being released. And the way it's being healed and released is through quite dark, turbulent, heavy visions and that, that has been known to happen and can happen. Again, the vivid dreams, lucid dreaming, or even being in like having, having very vivid visions um, in the middle of the day and just having this unusual experience, almost like euphoric experience. Even like the awakening process itself is quite euphoric because everything becomes um, so bright and so amazing and your vision changes slightly and you start seeing things in different ways and you start tuning into the energy of of the world that is around you again seeing that you know when people aren't aware of that and aren't aware that everything in life is connected and everything is multi-dimensional when people aren't aware of that and they start seeing these things again it brings this element of fear and because they've started seeing these things what's happening as well within is a lot of these internal blocks this energy system that hasn't been flowing the way it should be flowing and it's been causing issues uh, mentally emotionally and spiritually it's starting to be healed and it's starting to be unlocked and it's starting to flow and this is where a lot of practices such as energy healing and working down that path can also assist with that with that journey of of internal healing so mind body and spirit on all levels so holistic healing so all these feelings and sensations that go on in the body that make people unsure, make people unaware, and that's where a lot of people kind of stop because they're like, oh, that, that for me, it just didn't work. I know a lot of people in the spirit, in the spiritual realm, uh, in the spiritual community, sorry, that are healers and what have you, that have tried Moldavite and can't work with it because it is too high vibrational for them. And that again, that again is fine. Um, maybe in the future they will step closer to it and, and want to use it or, or integrate it within themselves or within them, their practice. For, for me, like I say, it was, it was little and often. It was just short spurts and I just built up over a period of time. Um, and then what I've written down the third and final part is the actual spiritual awakening and, and the assistance that the Moldavite can give 
on a spiritual awakening and I'm going to talk about myself really that what I did with the Moldavite so I'd gone through the process and I'd worked with it for quite some time and um, what I decided to try um, I don't know why I decided to try it but I decided to try um, just laying down on my back and putting the third eye uh, the crystal on my third eye and just going into a meditation and just laying there and so the first time I had an out-of-body experience was with Moldavite and again that element of fear um, because I lifted up and I was a bit like I was like well this feels good but I'm not really sure what's happening and then bang I was straight back in so it was kind of like a split second thing it was a very very fast but within that that time span which obviously doesn't exist in that realm of spirit but within that time span within the physical um, when I was in that state it felt I felt like a connection to all a connection to everything and and it seemed like while I was there like forever it just seemed like a very very long time but I know when I popped back in it was a very short time um, but it felt like everything all at once there then um, and so that's what I for some reason I just decided to try that and give it a go um, and like I say that element of fear bumped me back in um, but now when I use it when I meditate with it when I when I I've done it once again uh, afterwards quite quite a while after um, where it did work for, and I was out for a little bit longer but again not very long um, but both times felt there was no kind of weight of the physical world there was no weight of the physical body it was just infinite consciousness that that's all i can kind of like describe it as um but moldavite has been known to help and assist people on their spiritual work awakening maybe to get past where all we've talked about these physical blocks these physical fears maybe to get past them blocks and them fears by using the moldavite to just kind of like catapult them, catapult them, not catapult, catapult them to the next stage of their awakening journey. And that's where a lot of people start, I believe, picking up on Moldavite, wanting to use Moldavite and bringing it into their, into their world, into their realm, um, to use it to heighten their level of, of awareness, of connection. We can do this within ourselves anyway, through deep meditation, through mantra, through visualization, through breath work, there's many different ways we can do this anyway. Um, however, Moldavite does have an extremely powerful um, energy that can just shift that vibration and that level of awareness that little bit further to just bump you onto the next level. So that's my views on the fear of Moldavite um, it really isn't anything to be fearful of if you're ready for it if you're not ready for it if you're uh, if you think it's going to be the answer to everything then think again because it isn't it can reveal a lot that maybe you don't want to see right now maybe you do want to see it maybe it's something that you need to do within your within your physical world within your healing journey maybe it's something you need to get um, to push you onto that journey to be able to release reveal heal elements of yourself and then when we go through this healing process what will eventually happen is you will come in line um, with your with yourself, with your spirit, with your energy, and with your journey and your soul journey. And you will be drawn to aspects within your life um, that you never ever thought was possible, that you never ever thought that you would um, step onto. So for me, I mean, I got a piece of Moldavite before I discovered Reiki. Um, so I was working with crystals before I discovered Reiki, but between meditation and Reiki, crystals was a really, really big thing, really powerful thing. And, and, and the Moldavite has just transformed everything um, within, within my reality, within my world. Um, and for the better, really. It can, it can bring things in that tests you and tries you, 
but again that's part of a healing journey if not everything is going to be rosy not everything is going to be love and light not everything is going to be a nice rose covered path and it's not meant to be if everything was too easy if everything was too easy then that means that something needs looking at because when you are on an on a journey of spirituality of awareness of healing then there will be things within your dimension within your reality that will test you that will try you and and that's good look at them as a positive um, yeah just look at them as a positive because it's all a learning it's all a learning game it really helps you to learn who you are where you are why you are and and gives you openness awareness um, to to what your soul needs to what you need to be able to move you through this journey of um, spiritual awareness and spiritual unveiling so there we go i hope you enjoyed do give me a bing like the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video as well i will see you in the next video i'm not sure what it's going to be about i'm just i'm on a week off currently so i'm just enjoying that but i will do the odd video and pop on every now and again um, but i just felt urged to do this video about the fear of moldavite there is no fear with moldavite <clears throat> moldavite will come to you when it's meant to you will find moldavite when you need to for your healing journey okay guys much love to you all take care of yourselves bye for now